welcome to another Maker Monday activity. We have a, a bit of a art science activity for you today called the Floating Stickman Experiment. And we only need three materials for this experiment. You will need a dry erase or whiteboard marker. Now that's really important. It needs to be a dry erase or a whiteboard, not a permanent marker. We're also going to use a plate or a baking dish with a flat surface, whatever you've got at home. And then the last material that I need is some water. So I've got a small cup here of tepid or room temperature water. So that's water just straight from the tap. It's not extra cold and it's not warm water. So grab one, two, three materials and let's begin. Okay, so before we start, um, it's probably best to check with your parents or carer or guardian just to make sure that uh, you have permission to use the plate because we are going to be drawing on this plate. So you don't want to use your best china. Um, an old plate is perfect or you could even use like a disposable uh, barbecue foil tray that you get at the supermarket. So just check with mum and dad. We're going to take our whiteboard marker and just draw a small stick man. So let's give him a head a body, some legs, of course, and some arms as well. Now let's just leave this for about a minute until the marker dries. Okay, so now it's time to make in float. So we'll grab our water. Now you only need a small amount of water. Uh, you might find it helpful to pop your water into a little jug or something with a spout to make it easier to pour because we just wanna take a small amount and pour it really slowly and gently onto our plate. So you might find that a jug is a little bit easier. So let's pop the water in and see what happens when the water moves across our little stick man here. I'm just gonna move the plate slightly to get that water to spread across. Now, can you see his leg just started to move a little bit there? Let's pop a tiny bit more in and then we'll see if we can move him around the plate. So I'm pouring a tiny bit more in. What, did you see him move then? So it looks like he's floating on the surface of the water. I'm going to fill up the rest of the plate with this water now. And there he goes. We can move him around the plate, just like magic. He's now moving with the water and not sticking to the surface of the plate. Kind of looks like he's swimming Whoop, there he goes. Okay, so what is happening here? Is it magic? Well, it's actually a little bit of science. So because we're using a whiteboard marker today, it's a bit different to a permanent marker. So permanent markers rely on inks with a strong adhesive to stick to almost any surface that we write or draw on. But whiteboard markers use inks with a minimal adhesive um, which is, allows us to make drawings that can be easily wiped away, just like when we're writing on a whiteboard. And dry erase markers are, all, are also insoluble, and that means that they cannot be dissolved in a liquid. Um, and more importantly, it means that they are less dense than water. So when you pour water onto a dry erase stick figure, like we're doing today, a strong buoyancy force overcomes the stickiness of the ink and that pulls the drawing off of the surface of the plate and causes it to not so magically float on the water. And he looks pretty cool dancing around the plate. So you could try um, experimenting with different water. You could try cold water and hot water and see if that makes a difference. You could even mix up your drawings as well. So maybe you could draw a series of fish and maybe some ocean waves and see if you could make them swim across the waves. So there is our floating stick man having a great little time floating across the water. Thanks so much for joining me for today's activity. If you're curious to learn more about science and try out some great science experiments and engineering challenges, why not join our Curious Kids Club at Narromine Library, which starts on the 22nd of May. Or you could even join our Big Bang Discovery Workshops at Dubbo Library, which are happening now. Both of these fantastic activities are absolutely free and lots of fun. So visit our website for more information or contact us to learn more. And we hope to see you back here next week for another fun Maker Monday activity. See you then.